speak to Ben Aris. He's the editor in chief of BNE Intelli News. Ben, good to see you. So, what are we looking at here? A new war? Oh, um, escalation of tensions and uh, fortification of the borders. Uh, Lithuania also shares a short border with Belarus. They've closed their border posts as well. Um, the Ukrainians, again, also share a bit of a, that border, and they've been fortifying it over the last eight months. And Ukraine actually had an invasion of Russian soldiers coming through Belarus into northern Ukraine at the start of the war um, 500 days ago. But the tensions are definitely rising. I mean, as you mentioned, there was a helicopter incursion by Belarusian uh, Air Force into Poland last week, and um, the Wagner troops, the, those Russian mercenaries, have left Moscow and were reported to have been in Belarus, although there was reports this morning that uh, Lukashenko, the president, has kicked them out. But the presence of those troops, those Wagner mercenaries, who are very effective, um, ferocious fighters, has definitely unsettled everybody in, uh, in that neck of the woods. And we're seeing Poland react by beefing up its defenses. Uh, and they've already invested heavily in building fences along that border as well. So it's becoming rapidly more fortified. OK, help. So this is this, this, is this one thing that I don't understand. Poland has sent approximately 10,000 additional troops to the border. And I guess uh, the idea is to put pressure on Belarus and Russia to back down. Do you think it is going to help them in uh, doing so? Is it putting enough pressure on Russia and Belarus? Well, the danger here is that, you know, that part of the world, that, that border in particular, has suddenly become inflamed in so much as, as I said, the Russians use Belarus as uh, an entry point in order to invade Ukraine. And that changed everything because suddenly now Belarus is a threat, or Belarus, I should say, is a threat to the EU nations in the northern corner of um, the, the, the alliance. And this is what everyone's looking at, um, is that those tensions are going up, that is becoming militarized. And Poland, um, in particular, has always been terrified of a Russian invasion. I mean, they've been warning about it for years before the war started, Russian aggression. And so they're now taking, they're acting, you know, they're taking this threat very seriously. They think it's a real threat that Belarus is being pulled into the game uh, as a proxy or an agent for Russia that's threatening their borders. And so they're trying to secure those borders because for years those borders were wide open. There was, um, you know, the, the main flow of goods uh, into Russia, con consumer goods, transited Belarus. And so the, the, the traffic going through from Europe into Russia was going, a lot of it was going through Belarus. And, that's changed now. I mean, this has now become a hard border in the way that it wasn't before, and a military border in the way that it wasn't before. Right. And Ben, uh, I'm sure you would agree with me on this. Uh, this latest escalation is either directly or indirectly related to the war in Ukraine. So help me understand, how do you think it is going to impact the war in Ukraine? Well, the first thing is that the Ukrainians have made sure, and the Polish now with the same move, uh, are making sure that, um, that Belarus cannot be used again as a stepping stone. Because if you're going to attack Kiev, um, then you do it from Belarus. The drive is very short, the roads are very straight, uh, and you can get there in theory in a few days, although Russia failed to do that when the war started last year. Uh, in terms of affecting the war, um, I, again, I think it's part of uh, Poland's policy is to beef up its army, is to militarize in the way that it hasn't done before. They're now the only EU and NATO member spending way over the 2% that they're supposed to, and they have an ambition now of building the largest conventional army in Europe. Because, I mean, they've been unsettled, but of course Poland's history is that it's always been the first victim whenever a European war kicks off. Because it has flats, you know, the lands between it and Russia are flat. It's easy. You can just walk in. Um, there's no natural defenses. And so it's been very unsettled. And this is going to be one of the big changes in the, the military makeup of Europe coming out of this war, is that Poland will be weaponized in the way that it hasn't been for the longest since the Second World War. And it wants to make sure of its security, and it wants to finally do something about those threats that it sees now, particularly from the east, a combined Russia, Belarus, effort um, threatens it, and it wants to, well, once in a while, like secure itself against that kind of threat. Fascinating insights into the topic. Ben Aris, thank you very much for talking to us here on TRT World. Really appreciate your taking out the time.